Hey, what is going on party people? Fimint Show here, back at it once again with another video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And yes, the Death Note live action trailer is finally out and it is time for my reaction. Now, I know I'm late. I had work earlier today. I realized that this trailer has basically come out a day ago at this point, but that's not going to stop me. I have been covering this film since the early days of my channel and some of those videos where I was talking about the cast are some of my highest viewed videos. And um, I'm super excited to watch this. I haven't heard anything about it. I just saw it on Twitter that it was released. And um, I was literally on my way to work when I saw that. And I was like, damn it. I was so frustrated because this is something that I've been wanting to record this reaction. And I was actually meaning to do a video talking about this film and being like, hey, where the hell is this film? I feel like we should have a trailer right now and a release date and everything. But we finally do. So, um, yeah, let's watch this trailer. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. I am not ready for this. It looks like we already have a, a death note falling from the sky. I'm assuming that's what it is. What a great way to start out a teaser trailer. Um, let's jump right in. Let's let's watch this thing. I'm I'm pretty excited. It's bigger than I expected. That's light. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. Oh my, oh, that font, wow. <laughs> that was Keith Stanfield, my boy. This is strange. Oh, wow. What the, wow, this looks... Oh, Ryuk! Oh my god. August 25th! Wow, it's coming out sooner than I thought. I was expecting a fall release date. Okay, I want to go back and just hear that line from Ryuk because I didn't get to quite hear that. This is... Okay, lots of action. More than I expected. I need to hear that line. <laughs> okay, we need to talk about this for sure. So there we have it. That is the Death Note teaser. And I gotta say, I, I liked it. I did. I mean, it's not perfect for sure, but I liked it. I, I like some of the things that they were showing here. I like the overall tone. It feels like they're paying homage to OG Death Note for sure, seeing some of these shots and some of these scenes to look very s similar to what we would see in the manga. But there's some things that are a little bit different. It feels, the overall tone feels just a little bit darker. A little bit more sadistic, and I like that. And if you've seen some of my previous videos where I talk about this film, I mentioned time and time again, I am okay with the director and writers taking liberties and doing something different with this story, and it looks like they might be doing that, and that excites me. It really does. Some things that are a little concerning to me is the way the Death Note looks. Why change the look of the Death Note? It's like thick. It's like a book. It's, it's a book. It's a, it's a, a death book. A death book. Anyway, <laughs> um, that was a little weird to me. Like, I'm like, why is it that big? It doesn't really make sense to me. Maybe it's like, oh, maybe he just, you know, in the Death Note, why, how would he not run out of pages? I'm pretty sure it was magical. I'm pretty sure it never ran out of, ran out of pages in, in the manga. So, um, yeah, I mean, like, there's, there's certain things that, that look a little off, and there's certain things that look spot on. My favorite part about the trailer, oh, boy, was that last shot where we see a glimpse of Ryuk and it looks like he's looking very similar to what he his original form his original like what he looked like in the manga and the anime like he looked like Ryuk he had the yellow eyes his voice William Defoe oh boy oh boy and uh Nat, Nat Wolf as, as Light Turner <laughs> Light Turner as Light Turner I, I like this kid. I do. I think he looks really good in this role. It was a little weird at first where he was like, oh, Death Note, I guess I'll pick this up. Like, it looked a little stupid at first. But as, as, the, as the little teaser went on, seeing some of his facial expressions and this kid's acting. This kid knows how to act. I've seen some stuff with him in it before. I can tell. I mean, he hasn't been in too many good movies, but he's pretty good in a lot of his movies. I'm not going to lie. And that last, that last shot of him looking at Ryuk, you could just see the fear in his eyes and see the sweat on his brow. Like, he was kind of breathing heavy. Like, that, that was acting. That looked really impressive. Another one of my favorite shots was him walking, was uh, Keith Stanfield walking through the hall. That was like, oh man, I love Keith Stanfield so much. If you haven't seen Atlanta yet, 
watch that right now. If you have concerns of Keith Stanfield as L, watch Atlanta, and you're going to be like, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe, maybe Keith Stanfield does have it. I mean, just because he, he doesn't have the same color of skin that L has doesn't mean he can't play that character. I mean, he has done kooky, crazy type of characters before. I'm just curious if the writers and the director are going to portray L as that type of character. That's more what I'm worried about. It has nothing to do with Keith Stanfield in the role because he's a good actor. He can play that type of character. It's whether or not the directors want L to be that type of character in the film. So that should be your real concern, not the race of the character. Um, but yeah, I like this teaser. I do. Uh, again, there's some things that are concerned. I didn't like one shot that I was like, what? Was when the cheerleader was like smoking while she was on the pyramid or whatever. That was dumb. Get that out of here, please. That was really stupid. It looked super, super hokey. Just looked like, I don't know, like Mean Girls type of like high school, you know, hokey stuff. I just, it looks stupid. Please get that out of here. I hope that's not what Light Yagami, Light Turner, sorry, what Light Turner's school life is going to be about where he's just like at the school, like all these kids are just like delinquents and are all like smoking in the hallways and just like, please, that's stupid. That is not a real depiction of high school. Or maybe it is. It's been a while since I've been in school. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's probably the only thing where I was like, what the hell? Like, that just looked really stupid to me. Um, but some of the action shots, why is there so much action? What is going on? Why is Light running from police officers? What? What? The, do they know that he's Kira? Like, how? And then the Ferris wheel coming down. Like, there's a lot of interesting things happening that is making even more intrigued for this film. And I hope they've made you more intrigued as well. Um, so yeah, I am down. I am ready to see this film. It comes out in August, the tail end of summer. And um, it's going to be interesting to see how fans react to this. I haven't watched any other reactions to this yet because I wanted to just save it for my own. But all in all, I, I liked it, and I, I hope that other people have too. I mean, I think it does look really good. I mean, it, take the Death Note based off a of manga thing out of your head and just look at it as a teaser trailer for a film. It is really freaking intriguing. Like, oh my god, what is happening here? Like, if you haven't seen or, or read Death Note before, this must look insane to you. Like, what? Like, I can't... I want to see what this is like in the eyes of somebody that hasn't watched or read Death Note before because that... That's where, I think that's where the, the directors and writers are really trying to hook people, the people that haven't seen that kind of stuff before. So that's exciting as well. Please comment down below and let me know what you think of this teaser. I'm scared. I'm scared. I, I want to know your reactions. Do you hate it? Do you love it? Spread the hate down there. Um, or, 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 no, don't, don't do that. Just, just, just. You know, just try to keep an open mind. I don't know, but I want to start a discussion down there, so please give me your thoughts. And uh, also, please be sure to like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I just recently hit 500 subscribers, and I'm pretty happy about it. I'm not going to lie. Expect a long shout-out video coming soon where I name off every single one of my subscribers. That's going to be really fun. It's going to be like an hour-long video, probably. <laughs> um... But yeah, again, thank you all to my thank you to all of my subscribers. That's hard to say for some reason. And um, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.